Assalamualaikum Good afternoon My friend Around the world I want to show you The basic Steps How to start Damage analysis On a laptop motherboard For example A laptop that is Black screen uh, To find The source Of the damage We must Check the Voltage Conditions at several important points and here we give an example an Asus motherboard with good with model X555QG revision 2.0 the damage of this motherboard is a black screen or no display here I just want to show you how to beginning how to begin uh, the damage the damage analysis okay because to to find the source problem the problem source I mean of this motherboard uh, we must check all the voltage condition at several point so I want to show you what the point that we must check okay the several point that we must check is all the coil component all the coil at this motherboard the coil or called inductor this is the coil uh, the coil like this and this you can see here this is the, uh, the basically is same it's coil this 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 at all this coil must show us the voltage i think the voltage must be here 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 okay this point the coil and the capacitor and the big capacitor the big SMD capacitor like this or ELCO electrolytic capacitor ELCO like this like this okay once again the point that we must check uh, we must we must find the voltage there is the coil around the motherboard Okay, let's check the voltage at this motherboard to check the voltage of this motherboard you must have a multi-tester like this or you can use other type of multi-tester maybe analog multi-tester multi there is no problem okay and uh, this selector must add the DC DC fault DC fault like this with this uh, icon VDC and uh, move the selector to to oh, okay. this or this uh, to twelve at twelve. 20 20 or 200 because the uh, the maximum voltage at, at this motherboard is 19 volt or 19.5 volt okay so uh, this the ring of this multi-tester must be uh, di atasnya 20 eh di atasnya 19 volt all right and then place the black probe at the ground line this is ground line this is ground line ground ground okay choose one at the cross line and then plug the charger <coughs> plug the charger Right. 
plug the charger and turn on the motherboard okay look at he look at this he will check all the coil here this is okay this is low voltage okay. this coil okay, right here or here because this connected directly with this coil you can see 1.2 volt then this 1.8 volt and this is no voltage i think this is the the problem source of this motherboard because this coil supplying the the memory of the vga this is the memory chips of this vga okay check out the coil this is coil oh point nine four three point four five point two it's point five this is the elko nineteen four and in fall two this is the voltage source from the charger <coughs> okay this is the vgfx 0.8 volt and this point this coil is no voltage okay no voltage so with checking the voltage condition of the several point now we have now that the problem is at this this block okay we can see here a controller IC okay I will show you oh, generally okay generally okay you can see this is the coil that no fault it's at the normal condition uh, this is must about 1.8 volt maybe 1.8 volt this coil is applying voltage to this ram chips ram the figure ram okay here you can see this is the the control IC that in inside of this IC is equipped by the MOSFET uh, maybe you have you have now that 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 for other motherboard the controller IC and the MOSFET is not in one component you can see control IC there and MOSFET IC and MOSFET but in this component in this motherboard the MOSFET is inside at inside of this IC maybe the problem is at these chips at this IC controller or maybe at the output of this block the output of this block is this coil okay i unplug the charger first the output of this ice control is this coil connected directly with this lamp okay connected with this memory memory of this this oh, oh, graphic chips so I think the problem at this block okay my friend this is the simple steps to start damage analysis on the laptop motherboard 
there is no display or black screen okay I hope uh, this is useful will help you okay I hope this video will help you to start analyze the laptop motherboard with problem no display or black screen thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this video and see you next time wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh